Hello and welcome. So in this session, we are going to create a project in Jira and we will go very basic step by step. Whenever you have any questions, you can let me know. So let's get started with the steps. Step number one is we will go to the projects menu at the top. So I believe you already have logged into a Jira account. I have already logged into my Jira account here and then here at the top, we can see projects. So if you click here, it will show you your projects, your recent projects. And then here we have an option to create a project. So I will click here, create project. Uh, let me go again. I'm going here and create project. So it takes me here. So we have done step number two, click on create project, and then we can choose a project template. Now this can depend on your project, your work that you are doing. You can check with your team what exactly, what type of project you want. Uh, generally, so I will first go to software development. So this is what we want to work with. If you are working with any other thing, you can check here. We have IT analytics, sales, legal, all this is there. I will for now go to software development. And here we have these options, Kanban, Scrum, top level planning, cross team planning, product roadmap, ideal prioritization, bug tracking, etc. So if you just want to do a bug tracking, you can go with bug tracking and generally the most used options are Kanban and Scrum. Now here I will show you uh, with Kanban and with Scrum. So with Kanban um, project, it is for good for visualizing and advancing forward using issues in a powerful dashboard. You can get a dashboard and you can see the different uh, issues. So if I just show you here, if I show you Jira Kanban project and if I go to images, you can see this is how your project will, you can see your dashboard like this. You can see to do in progress, in review done. And then you will have all the other features as well. It is just for getting started. And if I say Jira Scrum project, here you can see this will be in sprints. Again, you can see the dashboard like this, but then here we can also have sprints as well. So I will tell you about this uh, in detail. For now, let me click on Kanban. And here you can see, you can track the work using simple dashboard, simple board, and there are different features here. And we can see the issue types. You can see all these issue types, the workflows, etc. I will say use this template and then here we have option to choose a project type. So the first one was project template that we have chosen Kanban. If you want, you can change as well from here. Then we have to choose a project type. So here we have team managed and company managed. So here, if you are, if your Jira is company managed, it is managed by the Jira admins. You will already have an option to choose from that. Otherwise, if you are starting from scratch, you can select team managed or company managed. I'll just go with, with a team managed project. Now, just in case you are having some different options, do not worry if your Jira is already set up to use some features by your admins, by your company, you can go with that. And if you don't see some of the options, which I am seeing here, or if you don't have some other, if you have some other options, you can go with that. You can just check with your team what options you have to use or whatever you are getting on the screen. You can go according to that. We have already discussed that for this demo, for the learning, for learning Jira with these tutorials, it's good that you create a separate account and do not use your company account and do not compromise anything. Okay. So now here I have got a page to add the project details. So I will say this is my, uh, I'll say first Kanban project. Okay. And here it will create a key for you. If you want, you can change this key. Uh, so it has taken the first letter of all these words and said FKP. I will say FKP one. And then here you can see this is your template Kanban. And this is the type. If you want, you can change from here and I will say next. And this takes us to the board of our project and here you can see we have the board here here you will see all your issues in these different statuses you can add more columns here if you want to so if i say more you can add more columns here then here you can see all the project details project settings and different options here and once you create your issues from here from the create button and you your issues will go here. So for example, I will just select this project. I will say a task this and I will say the summary is uh, my first task and I will say this is a 
demo task you can also say add and then give some team member names or notify some team members so for example i'm adding my name and then assignee labels parent if you have more issues you can select a issue as parent as of now this is the first issue and then you can click on create so once the issue gets created you can see it will come here so it has come here once it is done you can also drag and drop it to different sections and different statuses okay so this is a very simple option so this is how you will create a project now let me again go to projects and say create project and again i will go to software development and this time i will say scrum so here you can see you can plan a scrum project where you will have a backlog backlog means you can have all the tasks or issues that you have to complete in this project you can add as a backlog and then you can create sprints and then keep on adding these issues based on the your needs what you want to complete in every sprint and i will tell you about sprints and all these backlogs in detail later so you can see you can organize small cycles or small sections or small timelines as sprints and then work with your project so i will say use template here again i will say use a team managed project i will say first scrum project and you can give some key here and click on next so this will create our scrum project okay so we have got our project here and now again i can click on create to create a issue so i can create story task bug etc i will say this is a first story i will say demo story and then you can see all these options here and then i will say create so you can see this is available now in the backlog so if i i can view the issue or i can go to the backlog and here you can see my first story is here now here we can create sprint and then we can add the issues or the items from the backlog into the sprint based on whatever needs to be done in that sprint and then we can start the sprint okay so this we will discuss later in this session we are just discussing how do you create the project so once you have created the project you can go to project settings from here and you can see all the project settings you can change the icon you can change the name key etc we can manage categories from here you can also assign it so default assignee i will say project lead so whenever a new issue is created in this project it will by default get assigned to the project lead okay so, and i can save it from here okay so we have created a project now once we have a project we can go to dashboards and then we can view dashboards we can create more dashboards for our project different types of dashboard as we want to this we will learn later so with this we have completed the steps to create a jira project i hope this was useful i will see you in the next session thank you for watching and never stop learning